Alright guys, welcome back to another recap. Gonna be a short and quick one today. Uh, most of the profit is going to be coming out of Tesla today. Uh, Pally is a very... Oh, actually, I guess let me move this over. So for those of you guys that don't know me and are new to the channel, I do these recaps every day. At least I try to. Um... I also stream live every single morning. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and then hit that notification bell every single morning, 15 minutes before market opens. I am live. Uh, more than 100, 150 people watch me every single morning. We just trade uh, together, call out trades together, and share opinions and stuff like that. So, uh, recap today. Currently up $570. Uh, $570. I think my max, I was up 595 So, I did give some profit back. But, I needed this green day out of the way. Uh, if you guys see my reports for the last... 30 days, this is probably the worst it's ever looked in the last 30 days, uh, unless giant losses, but like consistently red days, this has been the worst it's been, and so I was on one, two, three, four, five, six red days, I had one green day in the middle of those, but six red days, the good thing is that I kept them small, so some of these like two, three hundred dollars, a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, that's not a lot, today makes up for almost three of those days, um, yeah, these other ones are 800, I think one of these, but you know, overall, this is just a rough patch I'm going through. I talked about all that today. So no rambling today. Today is a good day. Today is a green day. $507 profit. I feel like I had to lock in a green day and just get it out the way. So Tesla. Tesla, I mentioned this morning. I'm going to go over Tesla, just kind of my ideas, my plans with Tesla or uh, where I traded it. So on Tesla, looking at it on the bigger picture. So I'm going to drop down these uh, this uh, chart here. If you look at the, one day, the daily chart on Tesla, for one automatically one two three four five six six red days on tesla uh yesterday pretty big sell-off i absolutely botched tesla yesterday but today um it was either we continue this or we go sideways or we have a little bit of a pop from uh six days red maybe go green today maybe get a nice pop back up to kind of some of these levels you can see kind of the 177 range 176 75 range is going to be very hard to get back above so a lot of resistance there but i was like if it gets back up there maybe sure if we just kind of hang out down here we might go sideways for a little bit or if we end up cracking lows from yesterday we could go lower and so that was my plan so i got this let me go ahead and take these out so i had a couple of resistances so supports and resistances this is my first one 67 57 uh low day yesterday and then i was kind of looking at this all-time low now that was put in after uh pre-market hours this morning and so my first trade was if we start getting under that 6757 and then get under all this support and start coming up as a resistance i could take a short there back on down to 165 and i think that was some of my first trades on tesla i started playing it short uh maybe through here yeah i started shorting there and shorting here and then looking for that short i don't know if i actually caught it or i caught a little bit of it and i was fully out so i short 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 covered 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 short again short again covered and then once i saw that we kind of double bottomed this uh 166.13 level so double bottom here i was like you know what we might not be hitting more lows today we might be ending up bouncing and so this thing kind of pushed up pretty strong and i think this was one of my better trades today so kind of a little bit of a downtrend here downtrend break we double bottom we can't go lower and so ends up pulling this reverse card on everybody and that's where i was like you know what this is just gonna absolutely squeeze everybody that was short here looking to go short for the lower lows all day all time um actually i think it's like two year lows now i was like you know what yeah i think it's gonna squeeze a little bit and pop up um, I took my long on this micro pullback here, this one minute pullback there. I didn't take as many shares as I wanted to, but I still took enough shares to get a pretty nice trade. And that trade, I took it here, I sold maybe half around here, and then I was able to hold half of it all the way up to 170. 170 was the top range of my of Tesla today that I was identifying, and if you look at it today still, it's still consolidating between 170 and that 167.57, so kind of like right there. And so, you know, if you're trading Tesla and you're seeing this and you're still trading for the rest of the day, I would look for a break in either direction, maybe a retest, or just for a Tesla to actually pick a direction and, and go one way or the other. Uh, so that was my trades on Tesla, like I said, trying to go short here, and then I flipped long there. Um, I didn't play any of this afterwards, and then I took some scalps just now uh, before recording my recap somewhere around here. made like 20 bucks or something. So that was that one. 
Pally, you know, Pally is the one that I uh, unfortunately could not nail down at all. I was in it. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me show you guys my trades, and you're going to be the sad reality of my trading today. Uh, that's frustrating to see. That is very frustrating to see, actually. Pally, I did not think this one had it in it, like, to do that. Uh, obviously, we never know which ones are going to squeeze up like this crazy. But uh, it had a very nice pop at the open, and then it started consolidating. One mannequin candles, two minute candles, three minute candles, and the volume was just dying and decreasing. At this point, I was like, you know what? I think Pally is going to go. So I bought in once, sold it, bought in twice, sold it, uh, and then I sold it before this green pop and then I don't know where I kind of saw it here and I was like oh that could go but it wasn't until like one of these candles like absolutely ripped like 20 30 cents higher and at that point I was like oh my gosh this thing is gonna go it was too high for me to chase it you know if you look at the chart like this without that top end you see this pop and you're like that's a big pop right this this let it cool off let it retest 321 let's see if we can find support here find the next trade here and then take that next leg up you know obviously it didn't do that maybe that's why shorts thought it was going to do that and so some of them might have started shorting here but uh, unfortunately uh, or obviously that didn't happen it ended up squeezing I really wanted a dip out of the first halt, which was here. I thought we could spawn under four dollars. Three ninety-seven was another resistance on the daily. I thought we could spawn below it, take a trade there, and then anticipate the next leg up. Again, I did, would not have anticipated this, but from where I jumped in, three dollars, and this hit a high of six thirty-nine. That was over a hundred percent return. Uh, two three dollars a share for sure, and you know. 2,500 shares. That's a small share size. I could have taken 5k shares or something like that, and I could have definitely made a big killing on this one, but absolutely botched it. And then this one, I kind of saw that it was kind of pulling down, pulling down, and then kind of reversed again. And I thought this could kind of flag here, and so I took a tiny scalp there, kind of like a flag there. I think I made like maybe 20, 30 bucks on that one because I jumped in small share size, was not going to risk anything big. And then after that, I just left it alone. But, uh, but yeah, so. Missed that one. And then COMS is another small winner. This was a crazy trade because, uh, like I said, I stream uh, free for you guys. And, you know, you guys call out stocks left and right, up and down, diagonal, whatever, you know, you want to call it. And a lot of times you guys call them. I take a look at them and I'm like, nah, no volume. Eh, I don't like the daily. Eh, I don't like the setup. Eh, I don't like this, you know, whatever it is. And somebody called this one out, COMS. And, like, the second I saw it, the second I looked at it, I looked at the five. I looked at this previous pre-market high of 22 cents. I saw this move through here. I saw this pullback here. I was like, you know what? I have to buy this. Within five seconds, I jumped in on it. Uh, the bad thing about that is I didn't control my share size, so I jumped in tiny size. I already had 2,500 selected probably, so I jumped in very small. I should have taken 5, 10, maybe 20K on this one because it's moving literally a penny per share. But, I mean, I took it right there at 22.4, nailed the bottom pretty good, and then ends up riding up. And I did a good job of holding some of these. Uh, this one I got tired of holding. It was 200 shares. But 200 shares would have gone maybe an extra three pennies. So barely any profit there. But uh, I followed it up pretty good. That was a good trade uh, as far as execution-wise. Profit-wise, I made 55 bucks. You know, it was very small share. So, yeah, it added to the day. Uh, but uh, it could have been 100 200 300 400 500 dollars winner if I would have followed 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 shares up through this move here. And then at that point, I think it was too overextended, made a lower high, and then it was short game. Or I don't even know if you can. It's under a dollar. Anyways, uh, good to be green, good to be back into some profits, hopefully continue tomorrow, Thursday's Thanksgiving market, I'm pretty sure it's closed, and then Friday's early close, so I think I'm probably just going to trade tomorrow and call it a week, I might trade remotely off my laptop on Friday, but I will see how that goes, uh, other than that guys, you guys have a good one, you guys take care, tune into my live streams, ask me any questions down below, um, and then also this whole week I am offering 150 off for my course, if you guys are interested in that, just down below, uh, kind of Black Friday week, so just 150 off. No spaces at checkout page. Um, you guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.